Hey all, Russ here, our very TV. Check this out. These are Power Queen, 12.8 volt, 200 amp hour batteries. Gonna put them in the van. Gonna use these uh, batteries this year for the travel. Power Queen sent them to me. Also, I'm gonna do some other upgrades. I'm also going to upgrade the power supply. Not only it'll charge these batteries, but maintain 12 volt through the van. Well, let's open one up. I'll show you how they pack them. I want to thank Power Queen for sending these to me. We'll check their website later. All these companies, they offer deals and specials all the time. Batteries are well packed. They send a little pamphlet here full of uh, all the info on the battery. So 200 amp hour times 3, 600 amp hour. I had 400 in here before. It worked good until I got into rainy weather and very cloudy and I could lose uh, power after a period of time. So I'm hoping 600 amp will keep me going this summer. In Arizona you don't have to worry about it but when you travel hey you can run into rain and weather and we're getting ready to hit the road in about four weeks. Actually stay tuned to the end of this video. I'm gonna do a short trip Monday. I'll uh, show you that too. Anyway there, good manual. They got all the info on the battery. If you're going to hook them in series or parallel, these will be hooked in parallel. And they'll be underneath the bed. Alright, I already kind of know how to do this. So what do you say? We'll tear up the van. Get these things installed. I'm looking forward to this. What's this under here? Tear me off. Oh, the bolts. All the bolts for the batteries. Alright, I'm going to finish unboxing these and we'll get going on this. Now, here's the power supply it's Intelli Power 9100, 14.6 volts. That's what these lithiums really like. 60 amp gonna mount that under here because what I have now Here's the panel that I have now. It's got the 110 now also 12 This is a typical panel for uh, like a travel trailer or something like that down. Here's the old uh, charger I'm gonna disassemble this. I'll show you a little more detail Also house batteries. What does it run? Here's my high boost so uh, cell phone jetpack booster all kinds of plugs. You can see right now there's no shore power on this. We're at 13.3 volts because the solar's kicking in. Here's the controller for the inverter, or energy inverter. Also, what I use on batteries, this plug here, I use it to charge all the electric bikes when I'm on the road, uh, lights, you name it. I can uh, also charge uh, drone, camera batteries, all of that. The fridge is on 24-7. I never turn it off. Now, the fridge also has a battery protection down there. Hopefully, you can see that. I have it set on mid. Basically, this thing will shut off. If the batteries ever get too low, it'll just kill itself. And it's done it once or twice, believe it or not. The whole reason for the upgrades, like on cloudy days, where I travel where it's rainy, cloudy. And if I'm on the road a lot, the fridge will pull it down. Also, the other electronics in here. I have lights. The fantastic fan up in the ceiling. Drone batteries, camera batteries. You name it, it's in here. Now, one thing I did set up when I originally built this, let me show you up here. 
if you can see it. See the switch up here? This will actually, it's a magnetic switch. You see a lot of these in boats. What it does, it'll sense the voltage on the house batteries. When the engine's running, it's almost like a generator. It'll throw current back to here and charge up the house batteries. And vice versa, it'll sense if the engine battery is getting too low, then it'll actually charge the engine battery as well. So I can even use it like a jump starter. If I ever killed the battery in the engine, I could jump right off these through that switch. Links will be down in the description on all this stuff. But these Power Queen batteries, I'm really excited. Uh, Power Queen really has a good reputation. Okay, enough of that. Let me get this mattress out of here. Get this opened up. And I'll show you more on the inside. Excuse the mess. Housecoop housekeeper's day off. <laughs> storage. Storage. See, now there's two lithiums right there. 200 amp each. The ones I got will replace those. Plus the other one is going to go across here. So I'm really not losing that much storage. Here's a Renergy 40 amp controller. Controls the power coming in off the solar panels. I got fuse switches all over in here. Down there's the 110 electrical and here's the old panel here. So basically what I need to do, I got to disassemble all this stuff. It's not so bad. I've done it once or twice. So let me get busy on that. Then we'll start pulling these old batteries out. Okay, I had to remove the monitor. Get the clothes out. <laughs> now I'm going to go ahead and pull this off. Then this top. I got about eight screws in here and that will come right off. I can actually leave the bracket on for the monitor. So we're we're getting there. Okay, here's the setup. There's my 3000 watt Ren energy. It handles pretty much anything in here, like on 110, fans, coffee pot, that kind of stuff. I even plugged in electric skillet. The secret is having enough battery, too. Right down there. And that's the guys we've got to get to. So I still got to disconnect. I, I need to pull the inverter. So I can get all the way down to the batteries. All right. We'll keep on trucking here. Batteries unhooked. I threw a piece of tape over top of the wires so they don't arc. Go ahead and get the screws out of the inverter. Then we can pull this panel. There they are. <laughs> okay, I need to undo all my cabling because we're going to have actually, they're going to be in parallel. So we're going to have three batteries in parallel. Two across, one across here. So let me get cracking on that. Be back. Okay, I labeled up my wires, solar, engine, solar. That's an additional uh, solar feed I have out for the external batteries. So we're looking pretty good. Going to remove them straps. Yank these puppies out of here. Get them new ones in. Ta-da! <laughs> Cool. All right, let me get these out. Looking at 
after looking at this, these batteries are a little different size. They're slightly longer and a little bit skinnier. So, I'm going to re-block this. I think I can go all three across. And that'll really be the cat's meow. Okay, let me uh, do some measurements. See how this will lay out. But I'm going to pull those three blocks. Okay, I repositioned two of the blocks. This is going to work. They're going to go across all three. That'll leave me more storage. Also, I'm going to put some rubber matting under them too to sit on. So, let me get busy on this. I get these uh, rubber mats at Walmart. They're decent quality and they're only like four bucks. I use them for skid proof and everything. I got them around the van a little bit. Okay, I'm going to fasten these down and go ahead and set the batteries. Perfect. Look at that fit. And it's blocked on this side, so if I hit the brakes hard, these things aren't going to go anywhere. I'll have a strap over them, too. Look at that. They fit. And I almost have all the same storage I had before. This is perfect. But doing it, I changed my wiring up a little bit. Hopefully I got long enough cables. That's the next step. We'll get these things wired up. All right. There we go. I cut low pieces of rubber and put in between the batteries so they won't uh, hit each other either. It's all strapped in good and solid. Okay, what do you say? Let's get this thing wired up. Hey, got my Intelli Power 9100 mounted. All wired up to the batteries. It looks like spaghetti, but everything is wired correctly. Solar, engine. The power supply, it all goes over to here. I still have to disconnect the old uh, charger down there. We're reading 13.3. Solar's kicked in, we're charging off the panels. So, looking good. Okay, I'm gonna put the shelf back in, remount the inverter. See if we can get some power, get this thing uh, done. Okay, I just powered it up. She is running. I disconnected the old one down there in that power panel. And you can see the voltage, yep, 13.5, it's charging. Cool. Alright, button this thing up. Okay, well, I'm pretty stoked. I love the way those three fit in, and I did not lose maybe, oh, three, four inches of storage right here. 
running those long ways across like that. The power supply is a little noisy, but so is the other one. Once this is all closed up with the bed on top, you really don't hear much. You get used to it. But what a powerhouse, my goodness. 600 amp hours of battery in this thing now. This will make good for cloudy days, cloudy and rainy. You know, in Arizona, I don't think about it, but when I'm traveling, which we will soon, guess what? Okay, let's jump over on uh, Power Queen's website. I'll show you what it is. Okay, here it is, iPowerQueen.com. You can sign up here for their newsletter, deals, specials, all that stuff. Look at this, they even got a 410 amp hour, 100 amp hour. These guys are in the battery business. 190, 300 amp hour, 12 volt. They, they're coming out with 48 volts, rack mounts, you know, everything and anything solar. And battery storage is the secret to good solar. You can have all the panels in the world and generate juice during the day, but at night, guess what? You need batteries. Five year warranty, 24 hour customer service. They've been really easy to work with. Very impressed with Power Queen. Anyway, be sure to check out their website. It's ipowerqueen.com. Link will be down in the description. All put back together. Guess what? Today's Saturday, the 22nd. Either Monday, Tuesday morning for sure. We're hitting the road. We're going to go over to uh, check out Pacific Ocean. We're going to do a six day trip. Coming up. What do you say? Let's do it. Journey is just starting.